All right, so a one of a kind event is ready to raise its curtain. The one act festival begins tonight at the Wilkerson Theater and here to preview it. The producer of the festival, got Ike Torres, coming up in with us this morning. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks for having me. Okay, so a one act play. Tell mm -hmm. us, what does that mean? What does that format mean? So when you come to the 2023 Summer One Act Festival, you're going to get three plays. Mm -hmm. And with the one act, it's it's very different from a full length play in that you're getting about each show runs about 30 minutes long. So you get a little blend of everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about what sets this particular theater group apart from others? Oh, wow. So uh, Teatro Espejo literally means uh, theater of mirrors. So the plays that we're actually producing, they're a reflection of our communities and some sure. of the things that we deal with in life. And this is really a great opportunity as well for a lot of folks in the uh, Latinx and Latino community as well. Oh, absolutely. One of the most unique things about this festival is the yeah. fact that there are three uh, brand new directors, so they're getting their first shot at, at directing a play. And we have actually we have somebody who's directing one of the plays that is, they started when they were seven years old, and now they're 19. And so they've worked their way up all the way to be, being a director and getting their first opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. What, what's it mean for, for these particular writers and producers to be able to have a platform to tell their their stories oh my goodness it means everything yeah. um, last night for instance we were there till about 1 a.m. from 6 p.m. to 1 a.m. and everybody was tired but the overall theme the overarching theme was that everybody was basically talking about going home with a smile on their face because it's what we love to do it, yeah. it's important as artists to have a platform in order to share uh, your art and of course a lot of folks may not be able to go to a theater especially like young ones young kids mm -hmm. and look up at a at a stage and see people who look just like them telling their stories oh my goodness that, that that's such on point uh, when i was a child i saw my aunt performing actually um in teatro espejo and yeah. so and here I am. <laughs> <laughs> Following in her footsteps. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, and, and we've talked a little bit about it this morning, the idea that the theater is, it's not what you think about in terms of the, this large venue. It's right. actually very intimate. How does that lend itself to mm -hmm. just the way the stories are told and as well as the audience experience? Oh my goodness. So yes, it is a black box theater, mm -hmm. uh, low ceilings, about 44 seats. Yeah. And we're really big on energy. And the thing with when you're in a space that small is all the energy is compounded yeah. and it's it just it lends to such beauty, energy and you just feel it. I mean, you feel you feel everything. The actors are like right here, like how we're talking. <laughs> right. If you're in the front row, this is what it looks like. Wow. And yeah. again, not that they don't concentrate on some set design as well, but this really focuses on the dialogue at hand, I imagine. Oh, absolutely. Dialogue is a is a big thing. Mm -hmm. And so you, it's it's like being a, a fly on the wall and you're not you're not so far from from everything yeah. that's happening. And you'll be amazed at the magic that we produce in such a small space. All right. Real quick. Where can folks go to get some tickets? You can find tickets at teatrospejo.com or you can go on Eventbrite and get you some tickets. And there you go. Everything runs from Thursday through Saturday. Of course, you guys are doing the preview tonight. Yeah. But uh, best of luck in this at the Wilkerson Theater. We appreciate your time, Mike. Thank you so much. We appreciate you as well. Thank you. All right, Brittany.